with me, Lisa Lilly, and also known as Hungry Girl. Are you ready to get this party started? I've got a pink iPhone cover. I have got, what do we have playing? Who is playing on my iPhone? Who is it? It's pink, everybody, if you hadn't noticed. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you about my pink karaoke party that I just had. Um, okay, I'm wearing pink. I'm wearing a pink Hungry Girl hoodie. I have pink playing and what do I have in front of me? I have my version of the Starbucks pink drink. And I have to tell you, I created this, I don't know, like several years ago when the drink came out and it was super popular. I think it is like one of the most searched pages on the entire Hungry Girl website. Jamie, if you're out there, you could verify that. But like ridiculous amounts of people are always trying to re recreate this drink. And the issue is that there's one key ingredient that they stopped making. So everyone was like, how on earth do we recreate that without the ingredient? And so today I'm gonna help you do that. Um, I wanna tell you that the color pink stands for caring, compassion, and love. And I think right now we can all use a little bit more of that. So this pink drink, it's gonna help you feel more cared for, more compassionate, more loved. And I am going to give you, today's artwork of the day is Think Pink Drink. It's the sign of the day, it's the scratch art of the day. If you want this, you know how to win it, you know how to win this. I'm also giving away a pink hoodie. This is a Hungry Girl hoodie, I don't wear this very often, but I figured it would be good because it matches perfectly. Um, you guys, to win this or this, or a set of Hungry Girl measuring spoons, all you have to do is comment answer questions. If I ask you something, weigh in. You don't even have, have to answer correctly. We all know that, right, Lauren? Mm -hmm. Lauren's here reading comments. I am here. We have Bam Bam in the house who is also celebrating the pink drink. Bam Bam. We're going to have Bam Bam come on out and show you how she's celebrating because she, <laughs> she really is celebrating. So we're giving this away. I am not giving Bam Bam away. I am, but we want to show you how Bam Bam is celebrating today because she too, yes, it's true, matches look at her with her celebratory pink ear everybody give it up that is totally <laughs> safe ear dog die situation i can't tell you what it is but it might be sugar-free drink mix powder but not made with xylitol which is deadly for dogs okay don't worry about it so how are you guys doing are you ready for the pink drink anything going on out there you guys like the hoodie if you want to win the hoodie all you have to do is comment hey peggy hey dana Comment, answer my questions, uh, celebrate. We had pink playing in the background. By the way, when I was getting ready today for this Facebook Live, I had like a pink karaoke fest because I told my iPhone to start playing pink. And I don't know if you know this, but do you know this when you play now on your iPhone music, mm -hmm. the music app will show you all the words to the songs, like it's karaoke? Mm -hmm. It's crazy, so I'm like sitting there at my vanity singing and I learned a lot. Like, first of all, you know the song, Raise Your Glass? There's a line that says, party crasher, blank, blank, blank. Do you know what those words are? Do you know? No. I thought it was party crasher, penny snatcher. Isn't it panty? It's panty snatcher. <laughs> Laura knew it was panty snatcher. Anyway, you learn something new when you play with, when you play with your iPhone karaoke. All right, before I start this recipe, which is not complicated in any way, I am gonna ask my first trivia question. This has to do with the color pink. Are you ready? If you know the answer, answer, so you could try to win this lovely artwork or the hoodie or the Hungry Girl measuring spoons, which I don't know why they're not out now, but I can go grab them. All right. Which icon, there is an icon, super famous, gave his mom a pink Cadillac. Which icon gave his mom a pink Cadillac? You should know this, answer the question, and you could win these Hungry Girl measuring spoons. Okay, while you're answering, I'm gonna start up the pink drink. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the real Starbucks pink drink. It is made with the strawberry acai cooler and they add coconut milk to that and they make it a beautiful shade of pink and then they add freeze dried strawberries and that concoction is a little bit sugary. It's not awful, but it has about 150 calories for the grande. Um, the one I'm making today is gonna have 50 calories, which is 33% of the calories, which I think is a pretty good deal and it couldn't be easier. I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we're gonna use today. 
Um, and there are not many of them. All right, the first key ingredient. This is a product that I actually found recently. Uh, I did not know it existed, and when I saw this, I was inspired to recreate the pink drink because this is a crystal light wild strawberry with caffeine powder. So the Starbucks drink actually is made with, it has some green tea um, and green coffee extract, so it has caffeine. So I thought this was a good swap, and it's got that wild strawberry flavor, and this I got at my local supermarket. So it was very easy to find. The whole packet has 10 calories, but I am only gonna be using half a packet for this recipe. So I'm gonna take my glass, and I conveniently have a pink straw, and I'm gonna put half a packet in here into my glass. Okay, into that is your next ingredient. I'm going to get it. Are you ready? It's cold water. All right, my, my water, I wanted it to be really cold because I don't like using room temp water because then the ice melts too quickly, but that's four ounces of cold water. Now, by the way, if you can't get this drink mix, you can find others that will work. Like I know this strawberry crush works. This is really magenta. If you want your drink to be like bright pink, you can get this. Or there's other, um, there's other versions. There's a crystal light strawberry that doesn't have caffeine. So if you wanna make this drink without caffeine, there are other options. Okay, the next ingredient is gonna be a coconut milk beverage. And you wanna look for one that's on sort of like the lower calorie side. I have one from Trader Joe's that has 45 calories a cup. I also have the So Delicious one that has 50 calories a cup. Um, and you wanna put a half a cup of this in. So we're gonna measure out a half cup. This adds some nice creaminess and a little bit of coconut flavor. And if you want, like if you wanted to do the whole thing with coconut milk, you absolutely could. And you could leave out the water. If you so desire, you could use a cup of coconut milk. It will add calories, so our official recipe does call for the coconut milk. Okay, now I'm gonna put in, this is the key ingredient, but first I'm gonna put in some ice. We're gonna do about a cup of ice, and then take a gander at that right here, what that is. Freeze-dried strawberries, the best. Okay, so I put about a cup of ice in. This really does match my shirt tremendously, if I do say so. And now a quarter cup of freeze-dried strawberries. To me, this makes the drink. If you've ever had this drink at Starbucks, the freeze-dried strawberries are the absolute best because when they sit in the liquid, they like reconstitute and they taste so good and you get to eat, you get to chew while you're drinking. Thank you, Jamie is posting the key ingredients and where to get them. Everybody, Dana is uh, promoting the pineapple freezy, which is really, really, really good. And by the way, you could, you could experiment with different milks. If you want, you could try an almond milk. If you want, you could try your milk of choice. And obviously it might change the flavor a little bit and it might change the calorie count. And of course, you can add optional cinnamon and whipped cream. All right, is everybody answering the question? Mm -hmm. Okay, did anybody get it right? Yeah. Okay, the icon who gave his mom a pink Cadillac is Elvis. Mm, I love the tartness. I have to say, the tartness of this strawberry mixed with the creaminess and the coconutiness of the coconut milk is amazing. All right, I have more questions. Are you ready? Here's an easy one. What do you mix if you wanna make pink? Let's say you're painting and you have paint. What two sort of colors, is one of them a color officially? I don't even know. What two things do you mix to get the color pink? Tell me what you mix to make the color pink. Thank you, um, someone said they love my kitchen, thank you. This is so yummy by the way, and the best part, it's the freeze dried strawberry. So what's the difference between frozen and freeze dried? Mm, oh, different? okay, that's a good question. Someone's asking the difference between frozen strawberries and freeze dried strawberries. Frozen strawberries are just whole strawberries, typically, or sliced, that are frozen. So it's the actual fruit. Freeze-dried, this comes in, it's a shelf-stable product, and it's basically fruit that has had all the moisture sucked out of it, so it's crunchy. It's really low in calories. It's great on salads. It's great as a snack, but it's particularly good in this drink. 
nice and tart and good. Um, so what, what do you mix to get pink? Did people guess? Yeah, I thought people got I think a lot of people would get that right. You mix red and white to get pink. By the way, my hair, I need a haircut. Jamie, will you tell the people how you took a Zoom class and cut your hair yesterday? Jamie, who's in the audience, who um, is on the Hungry Girl podcast and has been a longtime Hungry Girl employee, actually cut her own hair yesterday. And I was thinking, wow, I can't believe she cut her hair and it's gonna look weird, but she sent me a picture and it looks phenomenal, like she did a better job than her regular hairstylist. And I believe she had a Zoom class on hair cutting. Is this true? <laughs> And if it is, tell people how they might be able to do that. Okay. What was my question? Did we, oh, did we answer the second question? It was red and white. Yeah, today. So. <laughs> All right, so the two things you mix are red and white to get pink. Two things, two colors. That was an easy one. Okay. Next up, I have another question. The artist Pink, if you've never seen her live in concert, you should, she's amazing. She flies around and she's incredible and she's like an ass kicker. I absolutely love her. What was her first hit? Do you know the name of her first hit? Pink, her first hit. It was not Get This Party Started, which a lot of people think, and that's the song I was just playing. It was something else. Do you know what her first hit was? If you know, you could win a prize. One of the prizes today is this Hungry Girl hoodie. Not the one I'm actually wearing because I got stains on it. That's strawberry powder, I'm sorry to say. I'll give you a brand new one and I'll even try to make it your size. Or you could win the Think Pink Art or Hungry Girl Measuring Spoons. Anybody know her first hit? I don't even know if Lauren knows the answer to this one. I know, I forgot you told me. Um, okay, do you know her first hit? I don't think anyone's answering. It's just lagged a little oh. bit. Hold on. This is so good. I'm using fat-free Ready Whip today, only five calories. Lady Marmalade. No, she did that later with like Christina Aguilera. That was like years later, right? Mm hmm. No. Her first hit was called There You Go. There you go. Did anyone get that? No, not yet. All right, well, hopefully you're gonna cheat and then write the answer oh, yeah, and exactly. you'll be great. Raise Your Glass is, is a great song. That's the song that I thought didn't have the words Panty Snatcher. Yes. That does have the words Panty Snatcher. Okay, I'm gonna recap this recipe. Um, so this is a recreation of the Starbucks pink drink. The Starbucks pink drink you get at Starbucks, a grande, which is about this size, has 150 calories. It's the strawberry acai refresher with some coconut milk and freeze-dried strawberries. But today, we recreated this at home for less money and fewer calories with a few key ingredients. We used half a packet of this Crystal Light Wild Strawberry with caffeine. We used half a cup of water, and we used half a cup of this so delicious coconut milk. You could also use Trader Joe's coconut milk and use a cup of ice and a quarter cup of these freeze-dried strawberries, optional whip, and again, this only has 50 calories, and it's phenomenal. Okay, someone is saying, I don't listen to her. Okay guys, thank you so much for being here. I have to say, you are the only reason that I wear lipstick these days because who can wear lipstick with masks? Isn't it so frustrating when you put, are the lights just going on and off here? All right, who wears lipstick today? Nobody, because you wear a mask and then you're like, oh my gosh, there's lipstick all over the mask. So without you, I wouldn't be wearing lipstick. So thank you for that. And thank you for being here. And I will be back later in the week. I have a lot of good recipes coming up this week. Some air fryer recipes. I have a banana nut muffin in a mug. And um, there's another fun like skillet recipe that I'll be doing. It's for an Italian entree. So tune in for that. Have a great, fantastic Sunday. I love you all. Keep commenting for you know a chance to win this beautiful thing. And also this beautiful thing, meaning my hoodie. All right, have a good day. I love you. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.